Welcome to the Staglin Center for Cognitive Neuroscience walkthrough training video. In this video, you'll watch a demonstration about how to screen and set up participants, how to send them into the scanner, clean up, and use various important components around the MRI suite. Welcome to CCN. Thank you. Um, so we're going to get started with your session by having you demetal in the lobby area here. So okay. we're going to ask that you remove things in your pockets, anything on your wrist, belts, watches, uh, jewelry that you have on, so earrings and, and right. rings and things like that. There's a bin where you can put your items if you'd like, or if you have a bag, you can place them in there as well. Excellent. Anything in your pockets? All right, thank you very much. Okay. All right, so next, after we uh, have removed all of our metal, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands at the sink over here. Okay. So please feel free to wash your hands. The sink is foot pedal operated. Uh, and there's soap and paper towels. All right, once your hands are dry, um, we're going to move on to taking a couple of physio measurements. So IR thermometer and a pulse ox device. Okay. So I'm gonna press and hold, take your temperature. As long as it's within the standard range, then we can, uh, we're good to continue. Um, likewise for the pulse oximeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this over your finger. So we Thank you very much. Okay, next procedure is we're going to scan you with our, our metal wand, our metal detector. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and when it detects metal, it's going to beep. So if I could have you please open up your arms, um, and I'm going to scan around your person to see if I can detect anything that might be in your pockets. Now we'll go behind. Do you have something in your back pocket? Oh, okay. Oh, great. All right. I'll keep going and finish up around. Okay. Most corrective lenses and glasses are not safe to uh, go into the magnet room. So we have uh, our own pair of corrective lenses, um, if needed, uh, here in the cabinet labeled as uh, vision correction lenses. So if you need these, you can go ahead and uh, find out your participant's prescription. And we have various types of prescriptions. So go ahead and outfit these uh, on your participant if your participant is in need of corrective lenses. All right, before we uh, head into the scanner room to start our session, I'm going to go ahead and give you a pair of noise reducing uh, earplugs uh, in order for you to stay safe during the, during the uh, MR exam. So go ahead and remove those from the packaging. And then in order to put those on effectively, go ahead and roll the, the, sh the small ends uh, up, place them in your ear, and you, you should feel them expand to encompass your, your ear canal. And then you should hopefully experience a, a large reduction in, in sound. Let me know once those are working appropriately. Good. Okay, okay, let's go. So we're going to begin by making sure that the um, scanner bed is prepped for our upcoming session. So doing that, we're gonna go ahead and pull a, a sheet of bed paper. And I like to tuck it uh, in underneath the cushion to make sure that it stays in the same place. Uh, likewise, we are going to grab a, a head cushion so that our participants are, are comfortable when they're undergoing their MR exam. And uh, likewise, we're going to cover the, bed, uh, the uh, head cushion with some bed paper as well for sanitary purposes. All right, 
So we're going to get started. Go ahead and take a seat on the bed and rotate yourself so that your head is on this cushion inside of the, the head coil. Please go back slowly and watch. Watch where your head goes. Um, all right. I'm going to give you this squeeze ball, which you can have in your hands during the during the session. Um, if at any point you would like to get in contact with us while the scanner is collecting images and making a lot of noise, please squeeze that. We'll stop the we'll stop the scanner and we'll uh, check in with you immediately. Uh, would you like a, a leg rest for some leg support? Yes, please. Okay. Go ahead and lift your legs for me. Thank you very much. And how about a blanket? Okay, are you comfortable? I am. All right, we're going to go and lift up the bed now. All right, we're going to go ahead and lift the bed up now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use a laser to align the position of the brain into the center of the magnet. So could you please close your eyes until I tell you to open them again? Please keep your eyes closed. Okay, it's safe to open your eyes now. I'm gonna put on the top portion of the head coil. It's gonna go over your face and you're gonna hear two clicks. And I'm also going to position the mirror so you can see the screen behind you. Are you able to see the screen in the back? I am. Okay, great. We're going to go ahead and send you into the center of the magnet now. Uh, I will be talking to you from the control room. Here we go. Hi, Agatha. Is everything okay? Uh, I, I can't see the task on the screen. Something's wrong. Oh, great. Okay, thank you for letting us know. We'll take care of that right away. All right, we're going to send you uh, out of the scanner now. And you're going to lower the bed as well. How are you feeling? Once your session is over and your participant is uh, exited from the scanner room, please make sure you throw any used bed paper into the trash, which is located either in the control room or outside of the control room in the hallway. Since head cushions were covered by bed paper, they can go directly back into the, uh, into the cabinet. Side of the board. They are mirrored on both sides so you can control uh, 
the scanner from whichever side you are on. They are two different controls. They are the same one repeated twice. This small wheel and these buttons control the environment in the scanner. Um, this button here on the left controls the track lighting, so you can press the button, change the lighting in the board, click the joystick to accept, click the light again, and the joystick again to turn on. Other controls include the fan and the volume. They are usually left on default values. If you need to change them for your session, go ahead, but please remember to change them back after your scan. The bigger wheel controls control the bed and the table. The table is the entire unit. The bed is the part that moves up and down, in and out. Home will take the bed to the all the way up and all the way out position. The top button will move the bed all the way up and in. If I press it, it will move all the way up, which it is in right now, and it will start to go in. Until I release the button. The bottom button takes the bed out and down. So if I press and hold, it will come all the way out until it can't move anymore, and then it will move down. The wheel in the center will control the bed just as if you were using the other two buttons on the top and the bottom, except that you can also control speed. So I can move the bed slowly or more quickly as necessary. The last button on the left is the laser alignment tool for moving your participant into isocenter. Press the button to turn the laser on. This is a real laser, so remember to shield your participant's eyes and have them close them before you turn it on. Click again to turn the laser off. Once you have aligned your participant using the laser, you can press and hold the center joystick until the bed begins moving, and then release. And the scanner will automatically move the center of those crosshairs to isocenter. If your research group is the last one to scan for the day, please prepare the phantom for the group in the morning. We run the phantom using this one right here and the 32 channel coil. Place the phantom in the coil. Make sure that the top of it is flush with the top of the coil. the anterior portion of the head bone. Make sure that both portions of the coil are connected. You can check the screen to confirm. Now that the phantom is lined up in the head coil, bring the bed up. the phantom using the laser as you would with the real participant, except make sure that it lines up with the small grooves on the side. Once the phantom is aligned, press the joystick button until the bed begins moving and then release. Now leave the phantom in ISO center. Again, this is helpful to the group that scans first in the morning because they'll need to run the QA before the day scans. During normal operation of the MR system, the helium pump used to keep the helium in the cryogen tank cool and condensed creates a, a whooshing sound about twice every second, which you should hear all the time during your MR session. If you if you come close to the scanner into the scanner room, you should be able to hear the whooshing sound if you listen closely. If during your regular MR sessions you don't notice the whooshing sound, the helium pump uh, circulating 
uh, please contact CCN staff immediately. The door to the scanner room is sealed electromagnetically through an inflatable copper mesh. Please make sure you keep the switch on the inside of the door, the scanner room side, in the up position, and, and only inflate and deflate the mesh from the control room side of the door. Make sure you close the door fully before inflating the mesh lining. One other thing to note is when entering the scanner room, please make sure you leave adequate time for the mesh to depressurize before trying to push the door open so as not to damage the copper mesh lining this, the scanner room door. sealed electromagnetically by... <laughs>